Hey everyone. So before I've done a video on time series data where it can detect anomalies in your data. But what if you wanted to make predictions? Well, in this video, I'll show how you can create an ML.NET model that can make predictions or forecasts from your time series data. So I'm here in Visual Studio and got a .NET or console project. And I already have my data in here. So it's just two columns. First is the date and it's an hourly date here. So it goes from each hour on up for each day. And then the energy level for that hour is also in there. And we're going to build a model that predicts the next four energy levels from this data. All right. So to get started, let's add some NuGet packages here. First, we'll add ML.NET. I'll just go ahead and use the 1.5 preview version here. And since we're dealing with time series data, we need to add a separate time series NuGet project. It's the same 1.5 preview version. So first things first, let's create our context. And then we'll load the data using context data load from text file. And I'll load it into an energy data class that we need to create, but I'll do that in just a moment here. First, let's finish off loading the data. The name of it is energy hourly CSV. And it has a header and we'll do the separator character as a comma. All right, now let's create this energy data class here. So this class only has two items. I'm going to use the load column attribute first here. So it knows where in the file to pick up these items. First, it's going to be that date and I'm going to set it to a date time type and I'll just call it date. And the next one is going to be the next column. And that's that floats and I'm going to call it energy. All right, with that done, we can create our pipeline. And I'll do context that forecasting that forecast by SSA. It's going to take in a few parameters here. The first one is going to be the output column name. This is what we're going to predict on here. And so I'll just do forecast. That's what I'm going to put as my prediction uh, name here. And the next is going to be the input column. And so with that, since we already have this energy data item here, I'm going to put energy items as my input. And next we have a few other parameters here and we can just, we can play around with these. Uh, first, it's going to be window size. I'll set that to five. Series length, set that to 10. The training size, I'll set that to a hundred. And then horizon, I'll just set that to four and feel free to play around with those parameters here as you, as you mess with this. So we have our pipeline set up. Now I can create our model on it by fitting on it with our data. And here's where we create our, our not really our prediction engine, but since it's a forecast, it's going to be a forecasting engine. And to do that, we call model that create time series engine. That's going to be that time series NuGet package that we downloaded. It's going to take in the energy data as the input schema, and we need to create an energy forecast as our output schema. And our parameter, we just give it our ML context. All right, so let's create our forecast file here. This is going to be one property here, floats, uh, an array of floats, and I'll call it forecast. And so now we have our forecasting engine. Now we can get our forecast on it. We do forecast engine that predict with this horizon parameter. This is how many forecasts that we tell it to, to get. And if we want to change that, we can put it in here in this horizon parameter as well. If we want to change that from what we put in our pipeline. All right, so we have our new forecast. So we have a forecast. So now let's go through each of them. We forecast. And it'll be in the forecast parameter of uh, property there. And now I can just write out each forecast. 
here, and then we do a console.relan. Make sure it doesn't disappear on us. So let's run this and see what we get here. There we go. So we got our next four forecasts here from our time series data that we got. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to use ML.net to create your time series predictions. Uh, I'll end things here, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks.